Of the 109 new COVID-19 deaths announced today, 93 of them were people living in seniors' residences. A patient's rights group has now filed a complaint uh, with the Human Rights Commission alleging people living in seniors' homes have been discriminated against since the beginning of this pandemic. Rob Lurie with more on that. These people uh, should uh, have been treated better. The complaint blames the premier and the government, saying they should have acted at least a month earlier to make seniors' homes a priority, and they should have known that by seeing what was happening around the world. 80% of people dying were in centers, long-term facilities. So there's no reason why we have not started to test and be more aware of where the crisis was uh, going on. Peter Wieland has been watching the situation in seniors' homes closely after both his parents contracted the virus in their CHSLDs. He believes people in long-term facilities were largely ignored early in the crisis. The government policy was to keep these people, at least in the West Isle, in CHSLDs unless they were the most severe cases. So they kept the hospitals empty by keeping the CHSLDs full of sick people and not testing them. The premier says the problems in long-term facilities kept worsening day after day, which is why he asked the army to help. I think that uh, it's easy uh, after uh, or during a crisis to say, oh, you must have been uh, better prepared before the crisis. Uh, it's true. But everywhere in the world, what I see is that people are under uh, pressure. But this ER doctor is worried. He believes staff in care homes are overwhelmed. He's seeing more patients arriving in hospital, not for COVID, but because they're underfed and dehydrated. The ability to care for these uh, residents is collapsing in some of these homes. And there may be no quick fix. The premier said the health care system is still missing 9,500 workers, and the absence is mostly being felt in long-term care facilities. Rob Lurie, CTV News. Meantime, the city of Montreal is struggling with its budget during